I started in 2004, before there even was a social media. Um, there was no YouTube back then. There was no TikTok. There was no Instagram. There was a little bit of social media, and that's actually how I really began. Um, I, I originally didn't start blogging on my own website. There was this mm -hmm. platform called Blogspot or Blogger, which in a way was kind of like the original Twitter before Twitter even existed. Um, it was really simple. I think it might even still exist, but I signed up and I, I clicked a few buttons and within a few minutes I had a blog and I could communicate with the world. And I had just decided that I wanted to try because I discovered the world of blogging and it seemed fun and easy. And that's the most important thing because it might surprise people to know that I am a tech idiot. <laughs> I am not an early adopter of technology. I'm not an expert at using this or the other. But because it was so easy, I was able to do it. And what set my site apart was I didn't want to talk about myself. I wanted to talk about celebrities. And back in 2004, 2005, people that were blogging, they were mainly just using it as, as kind of like online journals or diaries uh, and I okay. never would have expected anything because I didn't think anything was possible I didn't even think people would read my little blog you know the, the word influencer didn't exist I, I, I was the, the first one I paved the way yeah it wasn't as easy you know getting on TikTok and creating you know a mass of followers out of nowhere essentially it was so much different like that well, and even on TikTok, you know, it's people think it's easy, you know, because they see somebody like a Charlie D'Amelio and they, they think, oh, wow, she got so lucky. And she did. But like I just said, she got so lucky. Not everybody yeah. is that lucky. You know, a lot of people are on TikTok wanting to get lucky and creating content and working hard at it. And they're not having the explosive growth that others do or whatever. Um, you know, I, I got lucky and I also worked very hard and I did things differently, which is important, you know? You know like you, you're, you're doing with your puppets. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I don't really see a lot of puppet tears on TikTok. You know, they're, they're, it's a small uh, crew. There, there is a couple right. of others, but not a, there's not a lot. So that 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 helps you actually, um, you know, being niche, as they say, or being a micro influencer sometimes is better than being super mad or trying to just do a little bit of everything because it's just harder. 